The end of an era. An era of cold winters, family dinners, and mire. For the past 18 years, my life has been surrounded by the comforts of suburbia. But now, I am moving across the country because I have officially transferred to the University of Southern California. I stayed in LA for the summer to explore the city, but came back to Michigan for a few weeks to get all packed up to leave again. These few weeks, I felt the emotions, triumphs, and failures that hundreds and thousands of other students have felt leaving their homes and setting off for a new adventure. But here are some moments I was able to capture before this chapter in my life comes to an end. What? You show it, show it. Thrift? Huh? Thrift. 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 We're going thrifting. You show it, yay! Yeah. Okay, so we picked out some stuff and now we're going to show you our selection process. The week before I left home, my grandma began to cook all my favorite dishes. Food has always been her love language and has been a way for my family to bond. Eating meals is how we spend time together. So that is one of the things I will miss the most after I move 2,000 miles away. Also, we have a little garden in our backyard where we grow cherry tomatoes and squat or Chinese okra every year. When I was little, I was responsible for watering these plants every night, so I appreciate the symbolism that we grew up together. And of course, I will miss my dog Poe, who likes me the least in the family. just made it past my gate it was unbelievably busy today also let's talk about my airport fit when i tell you my luggage was stuffed to the brim it is stuffed to the absolute fucking brim so i had to wear the heaviest pieces like this big ass leather jacket and my fucking docks which my blisters on the back of my feet are popping with every single step i take so today has been a fun day for me but i'm going to take this fucking jacket off and try to relax before my flight. On the flight, I read some more Mirakami and watched the first few episodes of Outer Banks. Right when I landed, my hate for LAX was cemented. There's just so many people and the terminal is just so small. But after, it was finally time to move in. Here is an empty apartment tour. I have a room all to myself, which is really good because I'm honestly way too high maintenance to live with someone else, but I will be having sweet mates. So I am at the village right now and I have to go to Target just to get some like toothpaste and the loop and stuff. So I went out, got some food, went to Target and there are a few limitations I currently have. One, I can't shit, I don't have my toilet paper. Two, I can't wash my hands, I don't have soap. Three, I can't drink water because I don't have my Brita. So, a lot of the basic human functions, I just can't do right now. So that's fun. So me, I'm currently dehydrated yet with a very firm need to poo. This is the current state of my room. I have my three massive suitcases just filled with fucking clothes. 
and here's how I have my bed so far this bed is so it's just like two twin beds put together but together they make a king bed so it's absolutely huge and just like proportionally to my room it, it, it's just not right you know so and look at this glorious sunlight oh I haven't had sunlight in my room in so goddamn long So I finally got all my boxes back from the summer and now it is time to unpack. You already know, I'm already fucking jet lagged as fuck, but we're going to just spend all night unpacking and ignore the fact that I am severely dehydrated and I haven't pooped yet. I just want to take a minute to thank the sponsor of today's video, Casetify. Right now is such a good time to get a new phone case. Back to school season is here. If you get a new phone, perfect time to get a case for that. I love Casetify because they're both slim and protective, which is so good because I hate having like a bulky phone. Their impact cases are engineered with a two-layer construction of Chi Tech, and they're approved for drops of up to like nine feet for their ultra impact cases. So it's so much better than like the really cheap alternatives that you can find on Amazon or anything. Okay, so here's my phone before the drop test. You know, it's a normal working phone. Okay, so now I'm gonna stand on my bed and drop it. Look at this. It is completely fine. No cracks at all. Hypothesis proven. They come in so many different colors and designs, so you can really pick and choose to match your own style. And best of all, you can literally customize your own case. I have a case that literally just says my last name, she, on it. And I think that's so cool that you can like literally write words on it and customize all the colors and really just make this case personal for you. And also on all of Casify's cases, there's like an antimicrobial coating, which kills 99% of all bacteria, which is honestly something that comes in so clutch because your phone is actually disgusting. You use it while you're on the toilet, you, you put it on like bathroom stalls. Your phone case has been to hell and back for you. Also, Caseify's impact and ultra impact cases are made with 50% of recycled material. So, you know, you're helping the environment. You don't have to just carry around a block of plastic. And best of all, I got you guys with the discount code. You guys can go to caseify.com slash to get 15% off. Again, thank you so much to Caseify for sponsoring this video. And and definitely check them out. I love their cases. They're a holy grail. So my shower and bathroom overall is just 10 different types of crusty, dusty, musty. And not sponsored by Clorox, but we're just gonna do a whole spray down the area so I can finally feel comfortable taking a shower. I have been just editing the entire day. Literally, I have not gotten out of my pajamas and it's already like five o'clock and the only thing I've eaten it's just a bowl of cereal. So I'm actually gonna go to the, I think it's called Foodie Land. I literally just saw a TikTok about it. It's like this food market in Pasadena and I have to literally get ready in like 20 minutes. So let's go. Okay, so I'm wearing a hat because my hair is literally just a sea of oil. Ignore how disgusting that sounds, but let me show you the fit. So we're kind of bringing back the Y2K moment right now with just this black top from IMGEA and these like white stitched low rise jeans. Let's have a hat on, I'm gonna have a red bag, and we're ready to go. Suddenly, the world I used to know, I see it differently. You woke me from a dream, now here's reality. Baby, it's baby, okay. you are really hurting me. Cause every time you tell me I'm good and bad, I'm doing fine. But nothing ever changed.
the fair, there was this metal fence where people wrote down their wishes and tied them to it. It was so heartwarming to read these and basically get a tiny glimpse into other people's lives and their dreams and aspirations. from Daiso. The first thing I got is actually just a trash can because I need a trash can for my room. So I love these really cute tissue packs. So just like throw them in my bag. Oh, I got this like dish divider, but I'm going to use it on my desk because I have like, some planners and journals and stuff. A mug for toothpaste and brushing your teeth. Oh, just a desk organizer. I got really cute stationery from Daiso. They have the cutest envelopes. No idea when I would ever use this, but you know, just in case. I got these cigarette trays because I wanted to put my jewelry in them and I got two to stack them. I think that it'll look really, really cool on the metal aspect. I just got some clear acrylic boxes to put some Q-tips and like flossy thingies in. I'm gonna get my car soon. So I also got a holder for the car. Stapler, some stickers. So got some air fresheners for your car as well hopefully they actually smell good but they are so cute like look at this 